I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets of Castle Greyskull. This is amazing! In the vibrant atmosphere of neon lights and electronic music, the 1980s stood out as a significant period characterized by changes in culture and advancements in technology. This era embraced distinctive styles, where shoulder pads and Walkmans shared the spotlight and popular trends included mullets and leg warmers. From the charm of cassette tapes to the thrill of arcade games, join us as we unravel 13 things from the 1980s that we missed the most. Back in the 1980s, life was a bit like navigating without a GPS. No smartphones, no instant messaging. Making plans required some forethought, a sprinkle of commitment, and a dash of adventure. Imagine agreeing to meet a friend at the arcade or the local diner setting a time and then actually showing up without the luxury of last-minute texts or Google Maps. In those days, planning was like crafting a treasure map. You marked a spot and expected everyone to follow the route. There was a certain charm to the anticipation, not knowing if your friend got caught up in traffic or if they took a wrong turn somewhere. Yet there was an unspoken commitment, a promise to be at the rendezvous point no matter what. The absence of constant communication heightened the value of commitment. If you said you'd be there, you made it happen. There were no bailouts via text or excuses sent through emojis. People relied on their words and showed up because that's what they did. It was a time when commitments weren't just promises. They were a social contract, an unwritten agreement to honor your plans. This practice sculpted a society where people respected each other's time and efforts. It was a dance of reliability, and missing an appointment was more than a delay. It was a breach of trust. Crafting plans demands sincere dedication, and attending is a reflection of your character. But what other aspect of the 80s do we fondly recall? Stick around for more. Saturday morning cartoons were a beloved tradition that turned each weekend into an exciting animated journey. In the enchanting era of the 1980s, kids eagerly hopped out of bed with a bowl of cereal, ready to dive into magical worlds featuring small blue creatures, brave cat warriors, and the powerful hero of Eternia. The Smurfs, those adorable blue beings, captured hearts with their playful adventures in Smurf Village filled with mushrooms. From Papa Smurf's wisdom to Brainy Smurf's mischievous antics, these tiny characters became household favorites, imparting life lessons with a touch of humor. Then came the Thundercats, a formidable team led by Lion O. This intergalactic crew battled against evil forces, including the menacing Mum Ra, creating a captivating struggle between good and evil that kept viewers glued to their screens. The Thundercats' adventures blended sci-fi, fantasy, and feline finesse. And who could forget He-Man and the Masters of the Universe? With the iconic battle cry, by the power of Grey Skull, Prince Adam transformed into the mighty He-Man, defending the mystical land of Eternia from the villainous Skeletor. The show not only featured epic battles, but also conveyed valuable lessons about courage and responsibility. These Saturday morning cartoons served as gateways to the imagination, sparking creativity and leaving an enduring impact on childhood memories. The theme songs became anthems, and the characters became cherished friends. By the power of Grayskull! The 1980s were like a time capsule filled with the sweet taste of innocence and the warm glow of hope. Imagine a world where the future seemed like a canvas waiting to be painted with vibrant colors. Back then, people lived with a sense of optimism, believing in the magic of possibilities. It wasn't just about the gadgets or the neon fashion. It was the intangible feeling that infused the air. In the 80s, technology was a marvel, opening doors to new horizons. The arrival of personal computers and video games sparked a digital revolution that promised a world of endless possibilities. There was an infectious enthusiasm for the future, a belief that science and innovation would make our lives better. Culturally, the 80s were a playground of creativity. Iconic movies, memorable music, and groundbreaking fashion trends defined the era. It was a time when people dared to dream big, fueled by the belief that anything was achievable. Above all, the 1980s carried a unique sense of innocence. The world felt safer, simpler, and more trustworthy. 
It was a time when people embraced the joy of living without being weighed down by the complexities of modern life. In the fast-paced present, where uncertainty and challenges often dominate the narrative, we yearn for the simplicity of the 80s. That era captured a blend of progress and a genuine sense of hope, making it a time we miss dearly. It's not all about the simplicity. Even the arcade games were the ultimate social hangout spot in the 1980s. The 1980s were a golden era for arcade games, creating a unique blend of excitement and a sense of community. Picture dimly lit rooms filled with the captivating melodies of electronic music, the glow of vibrant screens, and the infectious sounds of coins clinking. It was the golden age of arcade gaming. You can't get hooked on it. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> In those days, classic games like Pac-Man and Space Invaders ruled the scene. The thrill of maneuvering Pac-Man through a maze chased by colorful ghosts or defending the Earth from an alien invasion in Space Invaders was unparalleled. Each game was a journey, a challenge to conquer with skill and strategy. What made arcade gaming truly special was the community experience. People gathered around these arcade cabinets forming a bond over a shared love for pixels and high scores. It wasn't just about playing a game, it was about the camaraderie that emerged in those lively arcades. Competing for the top spot on the leaderboard or simply cheering for a friend's triumph created a sense of belonging. Unlike today's isolated digital gaming, the arcade culture of the 80s was a social event. It was a place to meet new friends, showcase your gaming prowess, and revel in the collective thrill of the arcade atmosphere. As we look back, the nostalgia for the golden age of arcade games stems not just from the pixelated graphics, but from the memories of a time when gaming was a shared adventure etching its place in our hearts. Cassette tapes and mixtapes were like musical love letters in the hands of music enthusiasts during the bygone era. Crafting a mixtape was an art form, a personal journey that went beyond simply curating a playlist. It was about pouring emotions into the selection, creating a sonic story that resonated with the intended recipient. Choosing the right songs was akin to selecting the perfect ingredients for a recipe. Each track was a carefully considered piece of the puzzle, chosen not just for its musicality, but also for the emotions it evoked. Making a mixtape was a deliberate act, a tangible expression of feelings that transcended the digital realm. Exchanging mixtapes was a social currency, a way to share a piece of yourself with others. It was a unique form of communication, a way to say, this is me and this is what moves me. The mixtape became a symbol of friendship, romance, or shared interests, carrying the weight of personal connections in every rewind and play. The ritual of playing a cassette tape was a sensory delight. The mechanical symphony of the tape deck, the tactile satisfaction of inserting the cassette and the warmth of analog sound created an immersive experience. Navigating through the tracks, whether to relive a favorite moment or find the right mood, became a tactile dance, unlike the impersonal clicks of today's digital interfaces. Despite their popularity, cassette tapes and mix tapes were not the reigning kings of entertainment during that time. Curious to discover what held that prestigious title? Stay tuned. The 1980s was a time when VHS tapes and video rental stores were the reigning kings of entertainment. Imagine stepping into a magical realm filled with rows upon rows of colorful VHS tapes neatly stacked on shelves. These rectangular wonders held the key to a world of cinematic adventures. The thrill of perusing the aisles, eyes scanning enticing cover art, and deciding on the perfect movie for the night was an unparalleled joy. It was like embarking on a treasure hunt, discovering hidden gems waiting to be played on the trusty VCR. The clattering sound of the tape being ejected, the satisfying click as it settled into the VCR, and the flickering screen signaling the start of an adventure, these were moments etched in the hearts of 80s enthusiasts. The video rental store wasn't just a place to pick up a film, it was a community hub where film aficionados congregated. Discussions about the latest releases, friendly arguments over the best genres, and recommendations echoing through the aisles created a camaraderie that is missed in the digital age. As technology evolved, VHS tapes and the cozy charm of video rental stores faded away. Streaming services took over. 
offering convenience but leaving a void in the hearts of those who fondly remember the tangible excitement of choosing a movie from the shelves. In the 80s, MTV, or music television, was a revolutionary platform dedicated to the art of music videos. It was a time when artists transformed into visual storytellers, and the small screen became a canvas for musical innovation. Picture this, your living room bathed in the neon glow of MTV, as you eagerly awaited the latest music video premieres. It wasn't merely about the songs, it was about the entire audio-visual experience. Artists like Michael Jackson, Madonna, and Duran Duran didn't just sing, they crafted mini-movies that captured imaginations. These videos weren't just promotional tools. They were artistic expressions that left an indelible mark on popular culture. MTV's influence extended beyond the realm of music. It shaped fashion trends, introducing iconic looks that defined an era. From Madonna's lace gloves to the wild styles of hair bands, what was showcased on MTV became a fashion bible for enthusiasts. The channel became a cultural curator shaping musical tastes and introducing audiences to genres they might not have encountered otherwise. The MTV generation witnessed the birth of new wave, hip hop, and the rise of iconic music movements. As the years passed, MTV shifted its focus from music videos to reality shows, leaving behind an era that remains etched in the memories of those who experienced the magic of music on television. The 1980s gifted us a treasure trove of unforgettable moments, and among them, Classic movies stand tall like time capsules of pure nostalgia. Films like Back to the Future, The Breakfast Club, and E.T. didn't just entertain. They etched themselves into the cultural canvas of the era. Back to the Future whisked us away on a DeLorean time machine, blending sci-fi with humor in a way that still feels magical. The Breakfast Club captured the essence of teenage angst and friendship, resonating with audiences far beyond its time. And who could forget the extraterrestrial charm of E.T., a heartwarming tale that touched our souls and made us believe in the extraordinary. These movies weren't just about storytelling, they were about the experience, the joy of watching them on VHS tapes, the thrill of the cinema, and the anticipation of the next blockbuster. The 80s movies were a cinematic feast, a gateway to imagination and emotion. In an era before streaming services and digital effects, these films relied on storytelling prowess and genuine human connection. The nostalgia for these classics isn't just about the movies themselves. It's a yearning for the simplicity, innocence, and sheer joy they brought into our lives. The 1980s was a decade of daring choices with neon colors, leg warmers, and shoulder pads reigning supreme. Neon hues illuminated the fashion scene, turning everyday outfits into vibrant spectacles. From head to toe, people embraced the glow of neon pinks, greens, and yellows, creating a visual feast that couldn't be ignored. It was a time when subtlety took a back seat and boldness became the order of the day. Leg warmers, once reserved for dancers, became a fashion staple. Worn with gusto by fashion-forward individuals, these cozy accessories didn't just keep legs warm, but added an extra layer of flair to any ensemble they became a symbol of the dynamic and energetic spirit of the 80s. Shoulder pads, those exaggerated fabric extensions, became the power move in fashion. Whether adorning blazers or dresses, these bold pads broadened shoulders, giving wearers an empowered silhouette. It was the era of power dressing where fashion made a statement beyond aesthetics. It echoed a sense of confidence and strength. The 80s fashion trends weren't just about clothing, they were about self-expression and embracing the unconventional. In the present day, when neon, leg warmers, or shoulder pads make a cameo in contemporary fashion, it's a nod to the boldness and creativity that defined a decade where fashion wasn't just worn, it was lived. Now, brace yourself for another intriguing fact from the 1980s that might evoke feelings of nostalgia. The 80s were a playground of creativity and joy, and no discussion about that era's toys is complete without mentioning iconic gems like the Rubik's Cube, Cabbage Patch Kids, and Transformers. Sure, Sir Isaac Newton unraveled the mysteries of gravity, but could he have unraveled the mysteries of Rubik's Cube? These toys were more than playthings. They were companions in the adventure of growing up. The Rubik's Cube, a colorful puzzle of interconnected blocks, captured the imagination of millions. 
Its twisting and turning challenged young minds, creating a sensation that went beyond the physical cube itself. Solving the Rubik's Cube wasn't just a puzzle. It was a triumph, a badge of intellectual prowess proudly displayed by those who mastered its twists and turns. Cabbage Patch Kids, with their unique features and individualized birth certificates, weren't just dolls, they were cherished companions. These adaptable little friends became an essential part of childhood, fostering a sense of responsibility and care as kids embraced their role as caregivers to these endearing characters. Transformers, the shape-shifting robots in disguise, were more than action figures. They were the embodiment of imagination. The thrill of converting a robot into a vehicle and vice versa sparked endless adventures. These toys transcended the physical realm, inspiring narratives limited only by the boundaries of a child's imagination. These toys weren't just playthings. They were cultural phenomena that shaped the collective childhood experience of a generation. The Walkman, a creation by Sony, stands as a symbol of a revolutionary shift in how we consume music, making it personal and portable. Introduced in the late 1970s and gaining immense popularity in the 1980s, the Walkman transformed the way people experienced their favorite tunes. Before the Walkman, music was primarily a communal experience, confined to living rooms or concert halls. However, this sleek, portable cassette player allowed individuals to carry their music wherever they went. It liberated people from the constraints of stationary stereos, granting them the freedom to create a personal soundtrack for daily life. The iconic design, with its distinctive orange earphones and compact size, became a fashion statement. The Walkman wasn't just a device, it was a cultural phenomenon. It marked a shift in the perception of music from a shared experience to a private, individualized journey. With the Walkman, people could immerse themselves in their favorite tunes while commuting, jogging, or simply strolling down the street. The mixtape culture flourished as users curated playlists that reflected their mood or captured a moment in time. It became a symbol of independence, allowing users to create a sonic bubble amid the bustling world. Live Aid, a historic dual venue concert held in 1985, remains an indelible chapter in music history. Conceived by Bob Geldof and Midge Ure, this monumental event united the world's biggest musical talents with a singular goal. <laughs> to raise funds for famine relief in Ethiopia. Staged simultaneously at Wembley Stadium in London and John F. Kennedy Stadium in Philadelphia, Live Aid showcased a galaxy of iconic performers spanning genres and generations. From Queen's electrifying set to U2's emotionally charged performance, the lineup featured musical legends like David Bowie, Elton John, and Led Zeppelin creating an unforgettable fabric of sound. The sheer scale of Lave Aid, broadcast to an estimated 1.9 billion people across the globe, transcended entertainment. It transformed music into a force for global change, emphasizing the ability of artists to leverage their influence for a humanitarian cause. The funds raised exceeded expectations, contributing significantly to famine relief efforts in Ethiopia. Beyond the staggering financial impact, Lave Aid's cultural resonance endures. It showcased the unifying power of music, proving that a collective effort from the entertainment industry could make a tangible difference in the world. Now, shifting our focus from global music events to the iconic sitcoms that defined an era, are you ready to explore the TV shows that had us hooked in the 80s and are still unforgettable? Stay tuned. The 1980s marked a golden era for sitcoms, with shows like Cheers, The Golden Girls, and Family Ties capturing the hearts of audiences and becoming cultural touchstones. These sitcoms went beyond mere entertainment. They became a comforting presence, reflecting societal norms and the evolving dynamics of the era. Cheers, set in a Boston bar, became a beloved watering hole for viewers. Its witty banter, colorful characters, and iconic theme song created a sense of camaraderie. The bar became a microcosm of society, offering a humorous lens through which to examine human relationships and the pursuit of happiness. The Golden Girls was a trailblazer featuring four older women living together in Miami. Addressing themes of friendship, aging, and family dynamics, the show broke stereotypes and offered a refreshing perspective on the lives of mature women. 
The humor and camaraderie of the Golden Girls transcended age, resonating with audiences of all generations. Family Ties explored the generational gap within families, focusing on the clash of values between liberal parents and their conservative sons. The show mirrored the changing dynamics in American households, reflecting the societal shifts of the time. With its mix of humor and heart, Family Ties provided a window into the challenges and triumphs of the 80s family dynamic.